German tree chopper taking on the French general. All calm on the Western Front as we uh, look to start the second game. He's played himself in, he's more than played himself in the German. I love watching Simon Rosner play, PJ, because it's just he's always looking to do something positive, you know, whether it's a positive length, taking the tempo up, going into the front, working the ball into the front. Now he's more confident with his skills. I completely agree. If you think Gautier back to one game 2014, to we felt that there was a lot of potential in Simon Rosner. Huge he potential. Was making, he was making it, <laughs> it was huge potential. He was making it through to the quarterfinal stages, but he's really worked on his gentlemen. game. He's so much more versatile now. He can adapt to these kind of situations. It was just a bit of nerves in the first. And he was overrun by the control of Gautier. Once he settled down and got himself more accurate, dragged himself into this and made life very, very difficult for Gautier. A couple of lapses of concentration from the Frenchman. He got edgy. Gautier he leads one to game to love. Prey on that, really. Love all. It's all about the start here for Rosner. Well, so far, a very different semi-final to what happened last year between Gaultier and Mohamed El Shabogi. Still to Rosner. Very important for uh, Simon and Rosner. one love. Gaultier on both legs in this semi. <laughs> um, oh, that was uh, a bit of a shanking. Hand out, one all. Stroke to Rosner. Another area of the game. He wasn't able to take the swing at that. That's that's looking to that's been improved by Simon Rosner PJ Hand is out, his stop. defensive play. Hand out, his ability to use the front wall in defence, use height whether he's taking it uh, from the back of the court or also height lobbing from the front. Yeah, I think once he starts to control his pace hitting, Joey, he uh, starts to find his targets with more frequency. There's no doubting his short game, but that comes off the back of a good length in the first place. Video referee decision on Mr. Gautier's appeal. Gautier was uh, on Rosner's back like a flash there, but the actual shot from Rosner was quite... Oh, it's going to be a stroke. Yeah, it's I think a poor that's shot. And also could, well, he couldn't have been any quicker on him. And you can't say he's got to go between the side wall and Rosner because the ball actually comes out on an angle. So I yeah. feel this will be a stroke. Yeah. Stroke to Gautier. Hand out to all. It's been a bit of a mini stroke fest at the early stage of this second. Locked in at two all. Again, for me, Joe, is fairly reminiscent of the first game. The, the pace in which Simon Rosner's hitting the ball, it's too solid and too firm. He's got to start chipping and clipping the ball down the side wall a bit more and ask Gautier some questions about the pace because when, the, when your opponent's playing and hitting the ball that hard, it's very easy to just pick off and feed from that kind of pace that the ball's coming back. That plays into the hands of Gautier. As soon as there, you see the pace get drops ever so slightly. And Gautier has to generate. Do you think the also that to the, ball. the factor there is to play those slightly more attritional rallies, which aren't that natural for Simon Rosner because he likes to crack on with things. Yeah. So, for instance, there, if he extends the rally a little bit longer, it should make it harder for him physically. But I think that he can get into the mental side of Gaultier by extending those rallies. You could start to get rewarded by impatient errors from Gaultier. I agree, but he's got to do it at the right speed. If he does it just fast and... Well, he'll get tired, yeah, and then exactly. he'll... Yeah. He'll so more calculated, more yes. controlled. And more patient. Not too much to ask. <laughs> this backhand 
excellent work from the German. Clinging, clinging to the side wall. Up. It's a great shot, very well finished. Nicely finished by Gaultier. And out, three all. That's a gut ripping boast. Simon Rosner again just slightly takes a pause as he whips this forehand boast round, stops the movement of Gautier, out, even four, the speed three. of the Frenchman. Look how quickly the wheels are in motion there. <laughs> it's like a very rapid. It's a rocket. Talk about Nicky Muller being a rocket. That's going to be, he's not even going to ask. That's good he didn't ask there, PJ, because that was quality. Five, three. I think he's, he's got his mental house in order tonight, Gautier. Seems good. Down. Well, the error has come quickly. Six, Simon three. Rosner starting to ask a few questions of the general. Quite interesting, Joey, is the backhand cross court flip from Gautier. It's one of his trademark shots. He loves to play that shot because, he's, because it causes a lot of problems Down. for the opponents. But as soon as he does that, if it's not accurate, that's into the strength and zone of Simon four, Rosner. Six. It's unfortunate there for Simon Rosner. Right shot to play, done all the work. Again, it clings to the sidewall. Well played, very well played. He did well to improvise. Oh, wow! Good finish. It's acknowledged by Gaultier again. Just got stuck there a little bit behind uh, Simon Rosner. And out, 7 4. German just taking his space. Are you feeling no let? I think this will be a let ball. Oh, it's slightly different scenario. Yeah, 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 I know. I okay. talk about the line, okay. but it's a heavier no, no, no. drop shot here. Do not address me that way, okay? Player review, Gautier on the no let decision. Okay, cancel that, please. I'm surprised that he's cancelled that order. I am as well. This All was right. a let ball for four. me. It's not a great drop shot. No, it's I quite high on the front wall. I think that's a let ball as well. He's a big man, Simon Rosner. Yep. It's interesting. I've never seen Gaultier ever cancel something in that manner when it Eight is actually. Four. It's probably it's probably a good thing that he did because our information is that he would have been given an OLET from his old uh, foe. Yeah, it's brilliant. Oh, oh, oh man. Brilliant. Right on cue, the balance on this shot. Wrong footing, Simon Rosner. What's so impressive about this is that the, the strength on the ball, but also the, the recovery back to the tee. <laughs>
I have to say that Simon Rosner certainly has the measure of Gortier at the moment down the backhand side. And he gets that ball in that top third of the court on the front wall. It's staying very, very tight. Again, he had the, the racket wall. right on cue. Some wonderful exchanges in the front left hand corner. Quite high, six, eight. Quite high from Gautier, but very, very tight. Useful overrun by the German. Gautier mounting his comeback. the invisible low kill. Rosner's picked up a few of those balls already in this match on either side. Oh. So much better, the control and the quality is so much higher when they start to utilize yes, that front wall. Six, I've never eight. seen Rosner vary with so much intent Six, eight. Left. on his general length hitting. This is really impressive, he's uh, working the front wall so well. Seven, eight. Speak too soon, PJ, but the mental <laughs> fragility. <laughs> well, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, he's made the error there. I'm and out nine, the shot was seven. Uh, there to be played, just a bit too low hitting the tin. But I've been so impressed so far with the mental concentration and focus of Gaultier. rally of the match so far oh, between these two. Scandal. He is in a very good place, Gregory Gaultier. Hand out, 8-9. I don't know if it was that 25-minute steam room that's really cleared his head. <laughs> That's oh, a stroke. It's got to be a stroke. Okay That's a stroke all day season. long. This is a stroke. He's not cleared his shot. PJ, that is a stroke. Where can Gaultier go? And Rosner for Ro hasn't been able to clear this. Well, the only stroke is, oh, sorry, the only possible reason not to give a stroke is the line that Gaultier takes, but he's looking to oh, go forward. That's a stroke all day long. It's a stroke all day long. It's he a heavy shot. Gaultier what he's reaching and stretching too far. It's a yeah. good decision. Stroke to Gautier, decision overruled. Gautier has one review remaining. Nine all. Well, this is impressive from the number one seed. He's turned this around. He's 
superb fashion. Oh, that's clever. That is Chicky Chicky. Living up to his name, the general. Ten Knowing exactly where Rosler was off to, changing the angle. Knew it. Game ball. To go to Levat for Gregory Gaultier. He's going to get a straight Rosner, though. So we're into a tie break. And out. 10 all. A player must win by two points. Each player has one review available. Fifteen minutes so far for this game. The second game. Yes, let ten all. Yes, let player review Gautier on the yes, let decision. There's another review here, Gautier. That's a straightforward let ball. He just catches his feet on the back of Gautier there, Simon Rosner. He can pick this up relatively easily. It's one big stride for the German. Yeah, I think that's just going to be a let ball. There's nothing. Gaultier's done wrong there, just a bit of traffic. Yes, let decision upheld. Gaultier has no reviews remaining. Ten all. that Rosner just needs to keep an eye on Joey is when he goes from the back left-hand corner cross-court into the forehand volley of Gautier. He really needs to make sure he gets that ball into the side wall because Gautier is looking to creep across and really punish with that forehand volley. Well, Cat and Mouse down the backhand wall. Backhand covered, PJ, haven't we, with our uh, <laughs> camera work? That's the variation from Rosner. It's funny because they jockey for position and they kind of slowly battle down that left hand side ball, and all of a sudden, as soon as there's something <laughs> loose, it, it just unleashes. Yeah. Fireworks. Oh. Oh, that's clever. That's brilliant. Oh, that's clever. Brilliant. That's clever. That's clever. That is clever. Rosner did that same shot against Nicky Muller. This is a huge. Takes a lot of skill to play that, 11, that 10, accurately. Game ball. Gaultier, he's he done what the skill was for. Thought we were going to go into old Long John Silver mode there, but uh, <laughs> exactly what happened last year, but not this year. 11 10, Rosner deserves to be here. Deserves a game ball. Again, the width from Rosner, not quite finding that side wall. He's got to get that ball wider, beyond the reach. That's better. Just drags Gaultier a little bit further back into the court. Oh, 
That's a good shot. Video referee decision on that Mr. Is, you saw how tight that ran through. I mean, you talk about the quality of the shot first. I mean, I just want to see the quality of the shot first. Watch how this runs through. <laughs> that's that's, that's going to be giving us a let ball. Just because of the quality of the finish. I mean, that is a joke shot. Trouble is, the second bounce is just near the back of the service box, so one bounce there. I, I don't think Gautier's done anything wrong here, really. I think Brosnan's got to go past his shoulder and get and play that. I think there needs to be a bit more... I think that's a little bit soft. I personally thought there should have been a bit more effort from yes, Simon Rosner because that ball was ball. very tight Mr. and it had a lot of bite to it. Please make sure you're giving your opponent a line to the ball. Next time, that might be a stroke against you. Ooh. This is a little bit harsh. Hang on a minute. That's just... It's done. certainly not appropriate to that scenario. Gregory Gauthier, for me, has not been... has well, not been leaving his trailing to leg. Wagner, one game all. Well, that ball, Gauthier hit. He thought it was up and he was about to serve. The referees have called it down. It did look a bit weird. Yeah, it was, it was that was literally at the bottom of the floor. So that was down. So the confirmation for the second game, 20 minutes in duration. Simon Rosner battles to equalise. It's now one game all.